Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be Aries, uh, Sun, Moon and Rising Weekly Tower Reading, uh, May 13th to May 19th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to uh, finish shuffling the cards. And we can jump, jump straight away into the spread. All right, so uh, the first card, which is marking the topic for Aries star sign, that is going to be the full card, followed by the second one, which is um, displaying the challenges for Aries, that is going to be the four of uh, pentacles. Third card expresses up the positivity that the week has to offer to Aries, or rather what helps you throughout the week, that is going to be the uh, Ten of Swords. And then the last one that will be the guidance that Tarot is offering to you, Aries, is that will be the Wheel of Fortune. So uh, the full card, uh, it is the topic followed by the Four of Pentacles, which is the challenge. Afterwards, we do have the Ten of Swords, which is the positive aspect. And finally, what we do have here, it is the Wheel of Fortune that will be the guidance. All right, so... <clears throat> By the first glance of these cards, it does look like that you're going to let go of something. Um, well, uh, it, it will be a tough endeavor. It will be a tough endeavor. It is because you hold on to that thing for a lot, for a, quite a while now. And this week is going to be uh, the week where you are to obtain that insight that you, you can't be in there um, for much longer. But that is not going to contribute for your further unfoldment, therefore you're holding on into something that holds you back. It, it is kind of like that. So you're holding on into something, you know, it could be a person, it could be a project, you know, it does depend what kind of a situation you are in. And that thing simultaneously holds you back. So you are holding on to your demise, if I may express it that way. So uh, the topic itself uh, of the week, that is going to be the full card. And as everybody knows, the full is about new beginnings, all right? And even more than that, the full is about giving expressions to your idea uh, and those uh, which ideas can be materialized for uh, moving further into the future. So that week is a week where you have to start dreaming big. And through the process of you dreaming big and, and being more attentive to uh, your um, future goals, quickly you will start to realize that there is that thing into your environment. Like I said, it could be your relationship, it could be your current occupation into your career, it could be that you're living with your family, that is, you know, which holds you back. And even though it does create a, a certain comfort within you, the, uh, the thing that you need to, or kind of like the weight for improvement, or rather the way, the way for growth, it is through you um, letting that thing go. It is just, you know, severing the ties with that thing and moving on forward, facing the world just as one is here, as the full card shows. The full card also, like I said, exp it's not like I said, but it does have a correlation with what I said right now, does express detachment. So you have to be willing to detach from what does not promises you 
adding new shores for you to conquer moving on forward into the future. Additionally to that, you know, the fool could represent as well and an appearance of people, social circle or a person that you are going to have justified great hopes at as well. The accompanied card of the Fool that is going to be the Knight of Pentacles here. So the formation, what we do have is a active enemies and it looks like that is going to be a bit scary uh, from your behalf. It's most likely because, you know, you have to let go of something comfortable and something that ensures your stability for the sake of you growing forward. And that specific process of you letting go and how you should embark this new part of yours could be a bit confusing in a sense of that you may not know what you have to do in order to embark this path or in a more um how do you say it in a more drastic way of how these cards could manifest is that one may not know what one wants all right so you know that you are in a stuck situation right now either living with your uh, parents being in that marriage, um, performing into that project, but in the same time, you don't know what you're gonna, what what else you're gonna do, all right? And this uh, week, it should be the week where you figure out what else you gotta do. So if that's uh, the way that these cards manifest uh, for you. So the next one, which is the negative aspect of the week, or rather like what you got to uh, overcome, the challenge itself, and that will be the Four of Pentacles, where you are trying to reassure a um, secure future. While that is a good thing, uh, first uh, with the fool, the future is never secure or rather like the future is open for interpretations. The future is open for you to play with and to align it the way, you know, the situation unfolds or the way you want to unfold. So you, you never, with this card as a challenge, you never can have too much reassurances how things are going to develop as soon as you embark this new path. And uh, that, that being said, you need to have uh, Aries is a bit more leap of faith. All right, or, or you have to be prone to do that leap of faith that it is requested from you. Additionally to that, the Four of Pentacles does represent a comfort zone, you know, so that will be the challenge here to stepping out of your comfort zone, just like I said, to let go of that thing, which, yeah, it gives you a sense of stability, it gives you a sense of security, it gives you a sense of comfort, but in the same time holds you back, or at least, it, or, or the very least, it does deprive you from an inability to move on forward and to progress, you know, and to, to grow. So uh, you will have to determine yourself, or rather be that det determined to seek a uh, new beginnings in your life, if, my, if I may express myself that way. Uh, the accompanied card that is to be the, um, the Hermit. So the combo here it is a, a passive uh, supporters. And I think that now I'm going to retract a little bit with the first couple of card, uh, cards. I do believe that the serious issues here is the serious issue here is that you may not be able to define for yourself, you know, what is to be that substantial thing which you are going to achieve once you let go of this uh, position of security or position of comfort, which once again could be created by your job, it could be created by your family, it could be created by your wife or your husband, um, which makes me think of a, um, you know, very common question here. Uh, for example, if you come around for reading, let's say, and you, you, to you tell me, you give me a question, I am married, but I think I fall in love again let's say a couple of weeks ago with a person that I very much like, you know, and uh, I don't know what to do right now. Well, these cards encourages you to go with this new person and abandon the core for and the security of your current marriage, you know, because that because your current marriage with these cards, if that's the case with you, with these cards, it doesn't look like that it's going to improve anytime soon, okay? And if you want a your fast growth, fast improvement, you go with this new thing that comes uh, in your life. That is just an example. But the thing here with these couple of cards is that it's going to be quite challenging to define what is to be substantial for yourself as a new direction. So you will have the need to do something new. You will have the need to begin something new, you know, to, to, to be 
to make yourself useful, to make yourself fulfilled. And the challenge itself is going to be how you are to find that substantial thing outside of your comfort zone. As everything that you could have achieved in, in the current zone of comfort, it is already achieved. Nothing more can be pushed at this stage. I'm saying at this stage. For the distant future, who knows? Um, the next card that we do have for you, Aries, is that is going to be the positivity. And uh, what helps you? We have the Ten of Swords. And in this uh, follow-up, the Ten of Swords plays a role as a determination. You alone, uh, you will have kind of like the guts and the courage here to uh, basically break those strings and burn those bridges which you feel that holds you back. And uh, with with full willingness or kind of like with the full awareness, excuse me, that this act, these actions of yours are first going to make your environment or the life that you live in much more dynamic. And in the same time, it's going to make it much harder for you to handle. But uh, with these kind of cases, with the Ten of Swords comes around as a positivity, the toils or rather like the, the the hard push moving on forward it kind of pays back with a new era in one's life additionally to that the ten of swords points that this is going to be the week where you're gonna just draw the line all right draw the line and analyze the positivity uh, the pros and the cons in your life very accurate uh, accurately determining what holds you back and uh, as soon as you define that for yourself it doesn't look like that you're gonna have any remorse nor um, any fear to do what is necessary in order to uh, basically leave it behind the accompanied card that is going to be the moon so uh, the, the combo here it is a uh, active neutrals and it seems the moon just a um, amplifies the courage that you are going to uh that you are going to possess throughout the week well i wouldn't i would not name it courage well it's a courage but in the same time isn't it is because it is out of sense of helplessness all right so you will feel that you have to do something whatever that thing is and that is not quite classified as a courage, all right? But yeah, you finally you're gonna snap out, I think. I mean, the, the thing is gonna just, that will be the final drop in the chalice, uh, which overflows the chalice and you will say, oh, you know, I had enough and I just, I just have to do something either, you know, associating myself with that person. Because these cards could uh, represent as well, <clears throat> you know, that you are secretly in love with someone Okay, and you are feeling very comfortable just being around them, but in the same time, not much of a progress in regards to being with them. Uh, it is actually achieved. So finally, you snap out, you say, you know, that, that that's enough is enough. I will confront this person and that way, at least I will know. Right. So basically, you make those actions moving on forward and that provokes a new era in your life. Regardless of the result, you will definitely have a. Uh, how can I place a, a stage of liberation? All right. So uh, the last card for you, Aries, is this is going to be uh, the guidance here from Tarot. And that will be uh, the uh, Wheel of Fortune. So Wheel of Fortune here as a guidance card, it tells you that this week is going to be a week where you are going to uh, have that once in a lifetime opportunity. All right, because that is that what real uh, this is what Wheel of Fortune really is an opportunity to make change or rather like to uh, alter your outcomes and to adopt any kind of circumstances of your likings because the will of ch the will of fortune is a change which you control through a, a faithful uh circumstances that are emerging that are manifesting around you and you gotta take advantage of those uh, of those circumstances the accompanied card here this is going to be uh the nine of swords so the combo that we do have it is a active uh Active friends, and with the Nine of Swords, it does look like that uh, you will understand, or the guidance here is that you will have to understand the full consequences that your actions 
are going to um, are going to manifest in regards to either your career or either your relationship. This is not because you will need to have a second guess, all right? Should you do something to improve your circumstances or you will just sit into one place, but just so you realize that in this specific time, in this specific week, doing something, whatever that thing is, it is much, much better than just give it a, a, a silent and quiet treatment. So that being said, Aries, uh, this was your weekly tarot reading for a, a May 13th to May 19th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.